I always do like monthly market update videos and I always, you know, roll it in with, well, what's this mean for you? You know, this is a lot of jumbled stats thrown at a consumer who really they have, they don't, might not understand them all. Right. So I always round it out with, you know, so if you're a buyer looking to buy a home, this is what mm -hmm. that means for you in this kind of price range or in this kind of price range. You know, uh, if you're a seller, this is what it means for you. And, you know, here are some people that are benefiting from the market right now. Like how about those people who, um, you know, I got a lot of buddies in Governor's Brook, for example, that bought for two sixty nine nine. Their yep. house is worth five fifty now or six hundred. Mm -hmm. Those people that are looking to sell homes like that and move up to something in the seven or eight hundred thousand dollar range, well, that's a pretty good time to be doing it because you're selling in a really hot pocket and then you're moving up into something that might be a little bit less, right? Absolutely. In terms of on the buyer side, mm -hmm. um, so there there are these little niches that you know that do like the market is working for, but it's not necessarily good for everybody. It's like the weather, you know. Somebody we talked about earlier, Jeremy Cowan in my office, loves when it snows because he goes snowmobiling. I don't do anything in the winter, so I don't like it when it snows, right? So it's always good for somebody. It's just the different weather is, is better mm -hmm. for everybody else. Yeah, no, I think uh, it's going to be interesting to see where the first quarter yeah. And again, I, I think if it's going to continue to be good, yep. I believe it's, it's definitely price dependent. 